So what we teach at Blessed Sacrament and what we hope to instill in each child that comes comes to our school and crosses our path is that they recognize within themselves and with others that they are created in God's image. We were all taught to be kind and give each other like a chance even if we mess up and I think that's part of the reason that we are so close today. So you're like even like the older kids like they'll even like like hang out with the younger ones and like help them out like at recess like if you like need like more people for a game they'll come and like play with you and that's just really nice. It's kind of weird even the girls in our class are like friends with the boys and we, like you'll we have, you have two one and a half tables for lunch and then you will have the whole class just packed onto one table. They're sort of like family without all the fighting. <laughs> we all take care of each other and we're all there for each other because like no matter what we're going through, everybody like will comfort you and like the teachers will help you. This school really is like a family and we all are really close with everybody. Even if it's like you're in eighth grade, you're still really close with kindergartners. They're more like brothers and sisters by the time they get to me. Um, they've been, most of them have been together since they've been in kindergarten at least, and some even preschool. They, um, they eat together, they laugh together, they cry together, they drive each other crazy, um, but they laugh together and they just have developed just the best of bonds. And they really share their lives. And the small parochial school setting, um, not only can you share your faith, but you can share yourself. I feel like praying together does bring us closer together. Um, each class prays in the morning and at lunch and at the, at the afternoon. Um, we say prayers for the people building our school. We say prayers for the teachers, the friends, our family, um, faculty, um, even people we don't know. Like if we hear in the news um, with the hurricane that just happened, we prayed for them every day. And so we actually like take time to pray with people and like to get to know God better and like we take time to do religion and ask questions and yeah. Today we learned about um, what Advent really is. Like you try to be more joyful and kind. It's not a it's not a season of penance like um, like Lent is. And um, also I like the Hail Mary and the Our Father. I don't know the Apostles' Creed that much, though, yeah. We are able to help the children understand how they are made in God's image and that they can bring that back into their home. And it's a, it's a boost for parents. It's like we are partnering with them. So that they realize that their responsibility as parents are raising the child in this society and in our situation uh, of this world, raising them to know Christ and to live the values of a Christ-like way of life, they're going to get supported. They're going to be backed up here at this school. In the hallway, in any classroom, you will see uh, the prayer circles. You just feel the presence of God when you walk in here. Yeah. Once one kid smiles, it makes a whole class smile, pretty much. <laughs> well, since there's less students in the class, the teachers can get more close and personal with each and every student, and I think that helps with the education, helps with the understanding and everything, so, yeah. It's more than just a person who teaches you. You can also count on them almost like a friend. They treat you like my parents do. They're caring. They just are super nice. Uh, I've witnessed that many times, children, you know, coming up and hugging their teachers or whatever seeing that Mass on Sunday. So um, again, that creates this, this atmosphere of community, a family, um, supporting one another, caring for one another, and our, our teachers are big on that. It's so nice to be in a staff where we all have the same faith and we're able to talk about it and help each other and lean on each other. So it's really nice to have that, just the whole community and the parents are there for you and you're there for the parents and the children. We have so many students that do so well in high school. I mean, I have, that I can think of three students that have been valedictorians of their high school. So um, just watching them grow and progress and become successful people is just an amazing feeling. I can't help but be proud of that, so. The teachers make it fun. 
to learning. Learning is fun. The algebra program at Blessed Sacrament really helped me in high school and I felt like I was way better prepared for math in high school and I've had to help my friends that came from the junior high just because I knew the content a lot better and I was much better prepared. I feel like at Blessed Sacrament we get more prepared for high school and one of the ways is that we start learning Spanish in kindergarten through eighth grade. Um, house casa, that's the easiest one you have to know. And I think it's a good thing that we're learning a, a foreign language because it's just a good thing to know. And I have a feeling that I'm gonna need to use it sometime in my life. All those things that they teach you that are important, not only for education, but in life. They have a good faith formation and a good academics, strong base to go out into the world and make their path. And I love it. I love the kids, the families. It's just a special place. <laughs> there's probably more beautiful churches, there's probably more modern schools, but when it comes to the decision to send your kids to Blessed Sacrament, it's not about, uh, it's not about that, it's about uh, becoming part of the family here at Blessed Sacrament. Uh, it's about setting them up for success, uh, both in school and beyond, and about becoming the people that, uh, that God made them to be. And it's really special, so you should go here.